हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल इज वेल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज एंजाइम वट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड वट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एंजाइम इन दिस वीडियो वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ एंजाइम टाइप्स ऑफ एंजाइम और द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंजाइम एंड द मेकानिजम ऑफ एंजाइम एक्शन मेकानिजम ऑफ एंजाइम एक्शन सो वी आर गोइंग वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वन इज द टाइप्स और क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंजाइम डिपेंडिंग ऑन द फंक्शन एज ए से अर्लियर द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द एंजाइम इज द इट इज द बायो कैटलिस्ट इट फर्स्ट टेन मेडिएट और कैटालाइज ए बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शन वेयर द बॉन्ड इज ब्रेकिंग वेयर इन सम केमिकल रिएक्शन द बॉन्ड इज फॉर्मिंग इन सम केमिकल रिएक्शन हाइड्रोलाइसिस प्रोसेस अकर्स इन सम केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन रिएक्शन अकर्स सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन दैट क्लासिफिक एंजाइम्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू वेरियस टाइप्स एंड जेनरली एंजाइम्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू सिक्स ग्रुप्स एंजाइम्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू सिक्स ग्रुप्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर फंक्शन एंड दे आर रिमेम्बर इन दिस वे इट विल बी इजियर टू यू ओ टी हिल O for oxidase, oxidase, transferase, hydrolase, isomerase, ligases. Ligase is a singular. If you add S, then ligases and ligases. I L L Y A S E. These are all singular. If you add S in them. then they will become the plural form oxidase the six groups of enzymes are oxidase transferase hydrolase isomerase ligases and lyases depending upon their function depending upon their properties they are divided into six groups so first is oxidase oxidase type of group of enzyme they facilitate oxidation reduction reaction oxidation reduction reaction the group of enzyme which facilitate or which mediate oxidation reduction reaction is known as oxidase then transferase transferase group of enzyme transfers a group of transfer a chemical group they helps in transfer a chemical group suppose there is a chemical group bond cooh if then it is transfer from one reactant to another reactant or cooh bond converted into c double bond o ketone etc or cho or cho so this is the function of the transferase enzyme they transfer a chemical group transfer a chemical group suppose ax plus b here x is a type of chemical group then if it become a plus bx the if the chemical group is transferred then this is the transformation of chemical group so such chemical reactions are mediated by transferase enzymes then hydrolase hydrolase enzyme mediates hydrolysis hydrolysis all hydrolysis chemical biochemical reactions are mediated by hydrolase enzyme then isomerase isomerase enzymes helps in isomerization reaction isomerization reaction we know what is isomerization reaction what is isomerization isomerization means when two chemical compounds when two chemical compounds are structure are say, similar in their chemical formula having same chemical formula but differ in their chemical structure differ in chemical structure then they both are known as isomers suppose if we say glucose and fructose glucose and fructose are chemically the chemical formula of glucose and fructose are same chemically glucose and fructose are same c6 h12o6 but they are structurally different so this is a type of isomerization when glucose is transferred or converted into fructose this is a type of isomerization reaction and this isomerization reaction is facilitated by isomerase enzyme then comes ligase ligase is a group of enzyme or ligases you may say plural form ligase is a group of enzyme which facilitate addition a d d i d n addition 
ऑफ टू ग्रुप्स और टू केमिकल कंपाउंड्स केमिकल कंपाउंड्स व्हिच आर टू केमिकल ग्रुप्स और टू केमिकल कंपाउंड्स दोस टाइप ऑफ एंजाइम्स आर कॉल्ड लाइगेजेस लाइगेजेस आर और एक्ट एज ग्लू एक्ट एज ग्लू बिटवीन टू केमिकल कंपाउंड्स सो दीज आर द लाइगेजेस व्हिच हेल्प्स टू हेल्प्स इन अटैचमेंट ऑफ टू डिफरेंट केमिकल कंपाउंड्स और डिफरेंट केमिकल ग्रुप्स देन लाइएज लाइएज आर नोन एज ब्रेकिंग ब्रेक हेल्प्स इन ब्रेकडाउन और क्लीवेज C L E A B A G. The enzymes which helps in cleavage or breakdown of any substance or any chemicals, those group of enzymes are called lyases. For example, in the DNA strands, in a DNA strand during replication, the first step of repl replication is the breaking of hydrogen bonds between the nitrogen bases. So this breaking or cleavage is done by lyases enzyme. then in the next stage when okazaki fragments are joined together the joining function or the addition function is done by ligase enzyme so these are the different groups of enzymes according to their function oxidase transferase hydrolase isomerase ligase and lyase these are the different groups or you may say classification of enzyme according to their function then we will going to discuss what is the mechanism of enzyme action how enzyme functions और हाउ एंजाइम कैटालाइसिस ए केमिकल रिएक्शन ओके मैकेनिज्म ऑफ टाइप्स इज कंप्लीट देन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एंजाइम एक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एंजाइम एक्शन और यू मे से एंजाइम कैटालाइसिस कैटालाइसिस हाउ एंजाइम कैटालाइसिस ए केमिकल रिएक्शन सी there are different enzymes various types of enzymes we discussed these different enzymes have different type of function and their function is also the path of function the process of function is also different from each other every enzyme have different path different path or different type of function different type of function in molecular level in molecular level in molecular level each dif enzyme differ from each other every enzyme differ from each other according to their catalysis process but biochemically but biochemically they follow but biochemically they follow a particular particular principle they follow a particular principle or pathway particular principle or pathway for their mechanism pathway for their their mechanism in molecular level they may be differ from each other but in biochemical level in a biochemical reaction they follow a particular pathway or they follow a particular principle in their mechanism of enzyme action or the, during the catalysis process so we are going to discuss about those two common pathway there are two different uh, two common pathways two common pathways which all enzymes follow according to their in their mechanism in their mechanism so those two common pathway or those two common steps are first is the formation of enzyme complex enzyme substrate complex and second one is the lowering of activation energy okay the first common pathway which all enzymes follow up in their mechanism is formation of enzyme substrate complex then second one is your lowering of activation energy so we are going to discuss one by one first we are going to discuss about the first step formation of enzyme substrate complex in the previous video i discussed what is this enzyme substrate complex enzyme as i said earlier enzyme is a globular structure globular protein it have a two different part or two different site one is called active site another is called allosteric site active site another is allosteric site in active site the substrate molecule comes and bind 
and active site substrate molecule comes and binds. So how this enzyme and substrate molecule both binds with each other? How and where? First, where? Two questions arise. How they? How enzyme and substrate bind with each other to form enzyme substrate complex? And where this enzyme and substrate bind with each other? See. Where to answering where the question where the enzyme and substrate both are present in the cell inside the cell the fluid part of the cell is called cytoplasm so in this cytoplasm the enzyme substrate complex formation occurs in this cytoplasm and in nucleoplasm also cytoplasm is the liquid or fluid part of the cell nucleoplasm is the fluid part of the nucleus so inside cell and inside nucleus in cytoplasm or in nucleoplasm this enzyme substrate complex formation occurs then see another thing inside cell many enzymes are present and many substrates are present many enzymes and many substrates are present okay inside cell or in cytoplasm many enzymes and many substrates are present then question arise how a particular enzyme bind with a particular substrate how a particular enzyme bind with a particular substrate to answering this how i explain the properties in the first video that is the specificity specificity property of enzyme that means a particular enzyme binds with a particular substrate that is that is the specificity nature of the enzyme not all enzymes bind with any substrate a particular enzyme is only binds with a particular substrate so how to answering this how there is a popular saying known as made for each other made for each other that means a particular substrate is made only for a particular enzyme that means a particular substrate is always must be bind with a particular enzyme this is the meaning of made for each other the both enzyme and substrate made for each other that means the, a particular substrate only bind with a particular enzyme this is how we explain the specificity nature of the enzyme so when a particular enzyme react with a particular substrate then a intermediate is formed and this intermediate of the reaction is called enzyme substrate complex this is the enzyme substrate complex this enzyme substrate complex later on provide us the product and the amount of enzyme we provided so this is the product so this enzyme substrate complex is the intermediate of a chemical reaction in a biochemical reaction so how this enzyme complex formation occurs how a enzyme react with a or how a enzyme bind with a substrate to answering this how there are two different hypotheses the first hypothesis was given by emily fischer e m i l emil fischer f i s c h e r in a year uh, maybe 1890 in 1890 emil fischer provided a hypothesis to explain how enzyme substrate complex formation occurs how enzyme bind with a particular substrate and that hypothesis is known as lock and key hypothesis lock and key hypothesis in lock and key hypothesis fischer explained that he compare the enzyme with lock and substrate with key as in as we know in a lock and key relation a particular lock is opened by a particular key neither the lock nor the key change their shape lock have a particular shape key also have a particular shape and a particular lock is always open with a particular key so like that like the lock and key relation feature explained that enzyme neither enzyme nor substrate change their shape neither enzyme nor substrate change their shape change their shape 
चेंज देयर एस एच ए पी एस एच ए पी चेंज देयर सेल ड्यूरिंग एंजाइम सॉफ्टवेयर कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन ड्यूरिंग एंजाइम सॉफ्टवेयर कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन नाइदर एंजाइम नॉर सॉफ्टवेयर चेंज देयर सेल लाइक लॉक एंड की एंड ए पर्टिकुलर एंजाइम बाइंड्स विथ ए पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर सपोज दिस इज द एंजाइम दिस इज द सॉफ्टवेयर so this is the enzyme this is the software they doesn't change their cell they directly combine with each other this is the enzyme software complex formation so this a postulate is given by fisher in the lock and key hypothesis as a as a relation in the lock and key both enzyme and software doesn't change their cell during the enzyme software complex formation but later on but later on it was observed that but later on it was observed that observed that enzyme is enzyme is not rigid as it is flexible or elastic in nature flexible or elastic in nature see if enzyme doesn't change its shape that means it is a rigid it is a hard shape it is a very solid or a hard shape but it was observed that enzyme is not that much rigid it is a flexible or elastic in nature so this lock and key hypothesis fails to explain the elastic nature of the enzyme during enzyme surface complex formation that's why this lock and key hypothesis was rejected that means this lock and key hypothesis lock and key hypothesis fails to explain fails to explain the flexible nature flexible nature of enzyme that's why that's why the lock and key hypothesis was rejected that's why the lock and key hypothesis was rejected because it fails to explain the rigidity sorry it fails fails to explain the flexibility nature of the enzyme the lock and key hypothesis explained that enzyme is rigid that's why it doesn't change its shape that's why this hypothesis was rejected and another hypothesis came into medium and that is known as induced fit model the second hypothesis which is given is known as induced fit model or induced fit hypothesis induced fit hypothesis this hypothesis was given by daniel khosland k h o s khosland l a n d l a n d daniel khosland junior so this hypothesis or this induced fit model was given by daniel khosland in a year maybe in 19th century 19th or 20th century in a year daniel khosland give this induced fit model fit model in this model khosland explained that the active center or active site of enzyme and substrate mark the term the active site of enzyme this is the enzyme and this is the active site where a substrate comes and bind the active site of enzyme and substrate the structure of here uh, mark it the structure of the structure of active site of enzyme and substrate may be complementary may be complementary complementary means similar may be complementary so means similar in enzyme substrate complex may be complementary means may be similar in enzyme substrate complex but not in free energy but not in free enzyme state or but not in free state see in a cell as i explained in a cell many enzymes are present this is one enzyme this is another enzyme this is another enzyme many enzymes are present their shape is not that like when it bound with a substrate that means in free state when enzyme is not bounded with the substrate that is the free state of enzyme this is only enzyme this is the free state 
when it bind with a substrate and form a substrate complex then that is the complex state in free state the structure of active site is dissimilar that means not similar to the structure of active site when it bound with the substrate this is known as the this is said in the induced fit hypothesis that means the structure of active site in free state is not similar to the structure of active site during enzyme substrate complex formation that means the active site the structure of active site is changed according to the structure of the substrate and this explains the flexibility nature of the enzyme that means here we can write that means uh, the active site or enzyme changes its shape according to the according to the shape or size of the substrate and this is the flexibility nature of the enzyme if it is flexible then it undergo some modification of the of its active site that's why it explained that the enzyme the structure of the enzyme in free state and the structure of enzyme in substrate complex formation is dissimilar that's why the enzyme or undergo a little bit of modification in its structure when it form the complex with the substrate so this is the hypothesis given or said in the induced fit model that means induced which induced substrate substrate induce a structural change so that a substrate molecule can fit easily in the enzyme this is the popular saying of the induced fit model substrate induce a change in the enzyme structure so that it easily fit with the enzyme and forms the intermediate enzyme substrate complex okay so this is the induced fit model or induced fit hypothesis till now we see that how a enzyme substrate complex formation occurs and where it forms it forms generally in cytoplasm or in nucleoplasm and how it forms it forms according to the induced fit model because induced fit model is positively explain the flexibility nature of the enzyme but in lock and key hypothesis it doesn't explain or it fails to explain the flexibility nature that's why that was rejected and this induced fit model uh, is widely accepted in various part of the world then the next part is lowering of activation energy see in the cytoplasm see in the cytoplasm there are free enzyme there are the free substrate the enzyme and substrate react according to the induced fit model and forms a enzyme substrate complex now this enzyme substrate complex will gives us product and the amount of enzyme we given so how this step occurs we are going to discuss this step till now we discussed this step is discussed the second step how enzyme substrate complex gives us the product this is explained by lowering of activation energy lowering of activation energy what is activation energy lowering means you know when something decreases activation energy activation means required to activate or required to initiate activation energy what is activation energy it is the additional energy a d d i t i o n l additional energy or extra amount of energy extra amount of energy required to initiate or start the reaction initiate or start the reaction so what is additional uh, sorry what is activation energy it is the energy required to start or initiate the reaction generally known as activation energy so lowering of activation energy means this activation energy when decreased the product formation is occurs product formation occurs so how this activation energy lowers by addition of the enzyme see a example i will giving in industry in industry in industrial purpose when nitrogen react with hydrogen 
this gives ammonia NH3 balancing it to 2 3 3 3 N2 plus 3H2 gives us 2 amount of ammonia but here nitrogen and hydrogen does not react with each other easily they required some amount of activation energy in the form of a temperature and pressure that means they required around 300 to 550 degree celsius and 150 to 250 bar pressure to initiate the process with this they required also magnetite fe3o4 etc etc so this temperature or heat energy and this pressure is the form of activation energy it is the form of activation energy because when we didn't provide this temperature and pressure nitrogen does not react with hydrogen to form ammonia but when we provide this amount of temperature and this amount of pressure and nitrogen react with hydrogen and forms the ammonia so this energy or this temperature and pressure required to initiate the process that's why it is known as the activation energy okay see this is the nitrogen fixation this process is known as the nitrogen fixation see in bacterial cell in bacterial cell when biological nitrogen fixation occurs this is the process known as nitrogen fixation as bacteria is a living cell so this nitrogen fixation when occurs inside the bacterial cell it is known as biological nitrogen fixation so when this nitrogen fixation process occurs inside the bacterial cell let us see nitrogen I react with three amount of hydrogen and gives us two ammonia in bacterial cell this nitrogen react with hydrogen in presence of an enzyme called nitrogenase nitrogenase this enzyme is absent in the artificial process or in, or in industrial process but this enzyme when introduced by bacteria it lowers the activation energy that means in this process the amount of temperature required is generally 25 to 30 degrees celsius and generally one atmospheric pressure is sufficient for this type of chemical reaction when enzyme is there that means see when bacteria introduce an enzyme it lowers the activation energy it lowers the temperature and pressure as required in the industrial purpose in industrial medium in industrial medium 300 to 500 degree celsius and 150 to 250 bar pressure is required that is the activation energy but when bacteria introduce an enzyme it lowers the activation energy so this is the concept of lowering of activation energy when enzyme is introduced in the medium it lowers the activation energy required for the process and facilitate the product formation this is this ammonia is the product so enzyme decreases the low activation energy and facilitate the formation of product okay if we see this in a graph if we plot in a graph this is the course of reaction in x axis we will take course of reaction in y axis we will take amount of free energy amount of free energy then we will find that see from this the enzyme substrate complex formation will start their reaction when activation energy is provided it will increase its process and with decrease in the activation energy they form the product they form the product here they will start enzyme substrate complex they increase or they goes to a high level of an energy and decrease when the energy decreases they gives us product and this high energy state is known as the transition stage T R A N S I T I O N transition state but when we provide the enzyme then enzyme decreases the activation energy this transition state but this graph showing the activation energy when we provide enzyme here we provide the enzyme enzyme when provided it decreases the activation energy and facilitate the product formation easily so this is the activation energy required 
when energy is sorry, when enzyme present in the medium and this is the activation energy required when enzyme not in the medium from this graph it is easily shown, shown that when the enzyme not in the medium more activation and energy is required but when enzyme present in the medium a little bit less activation energy is required so this is the concept of lowering of activation energy en enzyme decreases the amount of extra additional energy required to initiate the process and that extra additional energy is known as the activation energy okay so this is the concept of lowering of activation energy in the first two hypothesis we will observe that how enzyme react with substrate to form enzyme substrate complex and in the second process we will see that how product formation occurs or how the product formation is facilitated from the enzyme substrate complex enzyme and substrate reacts according to their induced heat model and enzyme substrate complex formation gives rise to the product according to the uh, concept lowering of activation energy so this is the important things of mechanism of enzyme action or mechanism of enzyme catalysis then there are two different type of catalysis process two different type of catalysis process one is called covalent catalysis covalent catalysis another is called general acid base catalysis general acid base catalysis covalent catalysis means when a covalent bond is formed when a covalent bond is formed between a reactant then that is known as covalent catalysis when covalent bond is formed between two reactant that is known as covalent catalysis and when transfer of proton transfer of proton occurs in transition state tra n s i t o and transition state then that is known as general acid base catalysis nothing much there i shown you this is the transition state the highest amount of energy activation energy when required that is known as the transition state so in in this transition state if proton transformation occurs then that is known as general acid base catalysis and if a covalent bond is formed between two reactant then that is known as your covalent catalysis these are important to suppose things okay so this much in this video in this video we discussed a short question classification or types of enzymes and another very important long question this is the mechanism of enzyme action how enzyme facilitate or catalyzes a biochemical reaction so this much in this video i hope you will understood so this much in this video see you in next video thanks for watching